Welcome back. I'm still trying to figure out how the Reds score seven runs in the third and then wind up losing 13 to nine to the Giants who end a seven game losing streak. Let's go to Synergy Field. Barry Bonds with a field day tonight. Bashing this two run homer off starter Ron Malone. Giants two zip. Bonds scores five times tonight. Doug Mirabelli bangs his first of two homers tonight. The Giants lead three to one in the second. Now the Reds strike back in the third. Bases loaded. Dimitri's grounder looks like an inning ending double play, but Rich Aurelio drops it. It's now four to two. Still in the third, Aaron Boone singles the left. This ties it at four piece as Eddie Taubin's comes home. And when Barry Larkin sends a shot to the right field corner, that empties all the bases. Three run double. The Reds are on top eight to four. However, the bullpen just can't hold the lead tonight. Scott Williamson didn't have command of his stuff. Ellis Burke singles, two runs score. We're now tied eight all in the six. This is a wild one. Danny Graves also with problems tonight. Pinch hitter Felipe Crespo singles the center. That brings home a run. And then the ball just gets away from Aaron Boone. That makes it 13 to nine. That is your final score. Crazy one down at Synergy Field tonight. Meantime, first baseman Sean Casey can't stay away. Takes live batting practice today for the first time since suffering a fractured right thumb in the final spring game. Casey probably will rehab in AAA a couple days, then hopefully join the Reds this coming weekend. I have no concerns. I've been swinging the bat the last few days and pretty much going full throttle and it feels pretty good. So, you know, today's just an opportunity just to get out on the field, really. Sports anchor Harvey Smilovitz with the stories behind the scores. Welcome back. The Reds tonight welcome Sean Casey's season debut and Benito Santiago returns to help Rob Bell win his first major league game 5-4 over the Giants. Let's go to Synergy Field. Bell runs into trouble in the first. JT Snow doubles the center. Two runs score. Giants go ahead 2 to nothing. Next inning Ramon Martinez takes Bell deep to the green seats. The Reds are down 3 to nothing but the Reds score four in the second. Starter Sean Estes lets loose a wild one. Dante Bichette scores. It's now 3-1. Then Aaron Boone with the dribbler down the third baseline. That brings home Sean Casey, who was two for three in his first game. Still in the second, Benito Santiago back after 10 days with a dislocated knuckle. Bangs a two-run homer. Reds up 4-3. Following Bichette's run scoring sack fly, Ellis Burks puts one past Barry Larkin. It's 5-4 Reds. Barry Bonds with a chance to tie it here, but Danny Graves gets him the ground out. That ends the ball game. Reds win 5-4. This was outside of my first major league win. Uh, I, I think I take a lot less from this outing than my first two. You know, I just I feel like I had to work for every pitch tonight. Got myself into some jams. Got the whole team into some jams. We were letting them three runs after two. I felt real comfortable out there in front of all, in front of the crowd and, and just being back on the field with my teammates. You know, it's only been a couple weeks since I've been down at spring training, so uh, it, it, it still felt a lot of comfort out. There where Junior ends his two for 17 slump in the fourth. Watch him here as he smashes a two run homer. It reaches the green seats. Reds on top two to one. Barry Larkin copying Junior also crashing a two run homer as the Reds go ahead four to one. Then Aaron Boone steps up and watch Aaron double into the gap. Take a look at Dimitri Young. He is chugging around the base pads. There goes Dimitri. He rounds third base. It's not even close to the plate. Reds 5 to 1. Dimitri scores. Griffey does it again in the seventh. The win pushes this two run shot out of here. Reds lead it 8 to 1. Denny Nagel pitches a six hitter over eight innings, the longest outing for a Reds pitcher this season. And Pokey Reese finishes his 5 for 5 day with a base hit down the left field line. Two runs score on this play. The Reds take two of three from the Giants, and your final again Reds 11, Giants 1. But that was on my mind from the get-go anyways, to just think down in the strike zone, let these guys go field the ball like I know they can, and then hopefully, uh, you know, throw the ball like I did today. You know, guys were into the game because Nakes was into the game. And, uh, you know, it all kind of works together, and uh, offensively as well as defensively. Well, how, how, how hot is Pokey Reese? His 5-for-5 five five day pushes his season batting average to a hefty 455. And if he keeps this up, is there any shot ending the year at 400? Come on, man. Let's not, let's, not, let's not even start talking about that. I'm just trying to, you know, do, do my best out there and uh, just try to, you know, get on for, for the big guns we have behind me. So we're not going to even talk 400. I'm just up there trying to stay above 200. 